next speaker is someone who does a variety of interesting roles at Cecil. The official title is QC Welding Inspector and Maintenance Shutdown and Engineering Planner. Let's find out more about Gebile KK. Hi, everyone. Um, my name is Ketit Eng Kebile, hence the KK. It comes from that. It's actually my initials. Okay. Um, I was actually in your position. You said, what grade are you guys? I was in your position around 2007, which means I'm actually 34, guys. Ah, <laughs> yes, this was when I started my career. So I think with uh, most of you guys, when you complete your uh, metric or when you are towards completing your metric, you wonder what you want to do, what you want to study. At times like that, when you don't get opportunities like you guys, like us, we didn't get much of these. You wonder what you want to do. Or most of us, we grow saying we want to be doctors. We grow up, we woke up, we want to be electricians. We want to be engineers. But you don't know what it actually takes or what that actually means. You go to the doctor, you see, yes, a doctor heals you. All they do is give us painful injections. And then you don't know how actually what it takes, what is it that they do to get to their career. So uh, with my case, it's a very um, different story. When I wanted to be, uh, I actually wanted to go to IT, but then I went to one of the career exhibitions. And then I saw there is a totally different world out there. And so I became interested in, in becoming an inspector and being in the technical world. So what I started, I took a learnership with Sasso. So I think you guys haven't been to the exhibition site. You haven't. So what Sasso does is it gives uh, learnerships. So when when, like, if you didn't get an opportunity to go to university or you did not qualify for you to be able to study to be a mechanical engineer or an electrician, there is alternatives, which is learnerships at Cecil. At Cecil, they require math and science. Uh, good marks is always advisable, although we are not very specific at percentages that you passed at school, right? But why I say getting better marks is always best is because when you get to the company, the tests that we do there, or for everything that we study, we write tests. And there, the marks, we need 80% and above, but you do get three times. So if you're gonna fail three times, I don't know what you want. So then the company is gonna get rid of you. Uh, the learnerships are now three years. Mine, at that time, two years. So I did this practice for two years. I'm a professional welder, by the way, as you can see. So I actually go around, I am proof. I was the first woman welder at Cecil. So I was part of a project that women can do this, right girls? I'm a living product of it. So it doesn't mean just because you're a man or you're a woman, you can't do this. There is no such. I do not limit. As long as you are passionate about it and you are serious and you know what you want in life, then you can do it. And we can't all just go to the top. So I committed myself to start at the bottom. I can't be a welding engineer or be a welding inspector if I simply can't weld myself. If I'm gonna fail you, if I'm gonna uh, test your report, I know exactly why I'm failing you and I can show you how to do it. So this is why I started at the bottom. So our learnerships take three years for now and it's renewable every year, right? So if you don't perform, like I said, we, they give you three chances. So if you don't perform and you keep failing, they will cut your contract and you don't finish. 
So after I've qualified my learnership as a welder, I worked as a welder for Sassel for five years. In that time, I was the only woman in the workshop in Sassel Secunda permanent, right? We were eight ladies trained. I was the only one appointed. So uh, in that five years, I was exposed to other departments. I was acting as the foreman and what, and I'm working with, I could proudly say, your fathers. Um, <laughs> people like, yeah, your father's age, close to being, people that are now grandfathers. Lapo, you are the youngest. When you try to lead them, they'll be like, ah, what do you know? You just got to the industry. This is a man's environment. It is a male-dominated uh, male field. So if you are not strong and you're not focused, you could easily give up. So you guys must focus and know your goal, and then you will succeed and keep pushing. And even in the workshop, I was the only lady in the welding field. So that made it even more difficult. Remember, if you choose a career like this, you handle metals, as you can see. You handle heavy equipment and heavy jobs. And because you are qualified, they'll be like, ah, oh, they won't help you. They'll be like, you are qualified. You said you want to do this. You get the money for this, so you have to handle it. The nice thing about Sassel, okay, they do have equipment that will make your job much easier. You wouldn't, like safety comes first at Sassel. So if it's not safe, you don't do it. If you feel I'm going to do this and it's going to hurt me, you don't do it. So safety comes first. In that um, process, then I studied. my. Uh, I didn't want to do this for the rest of my life, so I continued my studies at the South African Institute of Welding to study QC, welding inspection. So meaning, a uh, typical example, the chairs that you are guys sitting on, they're still on the sides. That structure is welded, it's made out of steel. So we build stuff like that. So we manufacture stuff from scratch. Cars, if you see cars, cars are welded, guys. So we have to be trained. It's different types of welding. We've got your stick, we've got your organ, we've got underwater welding, we've got plastic welding. So if you are trained at Cecil, at least you are a professional welder. I think you've guys seen these, um, a uh, gentleman that always stands on the road with big cylinders there, like they are mechanics or what. You've seen them, right? When you see maybe other people got problems with their car and they park there and they try to help them with those big cylinders, right? And maybe they weld it. And even Labobaba at Lokshin, or you find them welding without helmets, right? They just go on and they weld. So the only disadvantage about those weldings is they are not inspected, they are not checked. That's why you find maybe some gates, they've got holes, right? It's because they're not trained. They were just welding. So things like that are not accepted at Cecil. So when you're a professional welder at Cecil, each and everything that you weld at Cecil, it's inspected and it goes through x-ray and it has to pass. Because companies like Cecil, I wanna lay this one across the road. If that thing, one mistake blows up, we are all dead, even here. The whole of Cecilburg can be affected, hence they only use professional welders. So your welding has to be x-rayed and it has to pass. So that's why they train us like this. And that's why your weldings are inspected and stuff like that. So when it comes to other things like electrical and all those stuff, same here. We are tested and everything has to be perfect, right? So you guys, if you want to succeed in life, all you have to do, be passionate and tell yourself that you can do this. So after I started my welding inspection, I continued to plan the jobs that are gonna be welded and manufactured. Hence now I'm also a maintenance engineering planner and the youngest, thank you. <laughs>
Thank you so much, Alz KK, for not mm -hmm. only telling us about the day in mm -hmm. your life as a professional welder, but also showing all of us, and especially the girls yeah. over here, that you can mm -hmm. enter a male-dominated space mm -hmm. and you can break boundaries of not only the, um, what it means to be a woman mm -hmm. in a male-dominated space, mm -hmm. but also the age. Yes. Because I'm sure <laughs> daily in your life you're confronted sure. with issues of ageism. Mm -hmm. I or or maybe you have a lot of intergenerational conversations. Mm -hmm. And that's also another great opportunity because you learn from, um, from, from, from the people seniors, that you work also. with as well. Mm -hmm. And you, you're equipped even more. Very now, I'm <laughs> sure we all have questions for her. Do we have questions? Yeah. Please put your hand up. You guys already know how we do it, right? The mic will come to you. Do we have questions on this side of the room? Okay, we'll take note of that. Question is... Um, Hi, uh, what's your name? Uh, I'm Hela. Hi, Amu. I want to ask, how did you gain your confidence? Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm actually an introvert. I'm a very shy person. I guess um, me always going, reaching out to schools and speaking to you guys, you guys gave me the confidence. <laughs> Again. Oh. No, I like you. You are learning. <laughs> uh, can I ask, how did you feel holding your welding machine? Yeah. Um, yes, that's actually a very interesting and important question. Um, I have, through my experience, since... Uh, you see now, in nowadays, now that we also have male designers, you'll find that... Oh, Missy is here looking all this gorgeous. You'll find out that probably her outfit was uh, made by uh, a man. So is welding. So for me, as a woman, for me, I take, because we are women and because we are very careful than men, for me, that's how it worked out for me. It's like I was suing. So that's how you concentrate and you get used to the skill. So it, practice yeah wait 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 you are dealing with steel with fire with yes. sparks when i got a that's fire again okay that's so cool let's it take is. this question over here yeah. um, we'll take that one and then the last one at the back okay well i want to know if like i think you know like future is approaching right well uh i want to know if like uh, if robots could replace your career Sorry, can you repeat your question? If robots could replace your career, well... My then. career? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, everything is, I wouldn't say replaceable, but we improve, right? Like okay. in, in my trade, yes, we teach, uh, we train people to weld physically. So now in the new learnerships, we also have uh, operators. Ne? You'll find that I am now setting up the machine. Ne? Yes, unlike me doing it physically, now you have to know how to operate this specific machine to weld, especially with big equipment. You'll find a pipe or whatever, something like a truck, or a truck or a petrol. That you see how big is that thing? So imagine if a human being has to weld that thing. When are they gonna finish? See what I mean? So yes, we are trained up to probably. The biggest thing I've welded is about 20 inch pipe. So if that is, it takes long. So if for things like that, then we have machines that I'm gonna set up the machine that you have to monitor it for it to do that proper job. Yes, I'm listening. We're not killing a lot of jobs. There is jobs that still require physical welding. I'll Not put it to you, uh, if I may add, and I think as you mm. go and explore the other exhibitions, sir, mm. you'll see that, um, and one of the biggest things about this exhibition and the eye in STEAMY is called innovation, right? So the same way that we've had um, that we had the first industrial revolution, we went into the second, the third, and now we're mm. in the fourth. So that's mm. what she's saying. We, you don't, uh, your job doesn't get destroyed. It's about all. us evolving the same way that our technology does. So the jobs will evolve. And I think it would be a great opportunity for you just now. We're about to um, break for us to exchange. 
um, you, you'll see that there's a lot of innovation. So please do pay attention when you go and explore. Okay, we're going to take two one, more questions two. and then the kids are going to exchange. So okay. there's that one over there and that one at the back. Cool. How hard was it to get in the industry? How hard was it? Well, well, to get into the industry, well, I'm going to speak for Sasol since I'm with Sasol. You apply for a leadership if you want to be trained like I do. So you apply for it and then you, you'll be asked questions. So if you go through with the leadership, you'll have a test and if you pass, you go through. So it wasn't that hard. So as long as you have your maths and science and you pass well. Okay. Yes. Last question. Please stand up, tell us your name, what school you go to, and then ask your question. Hi. 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 My name is Mofusi Chakela. I'm from Iketetsen Comprehensive Secondary School. I'm doing grade 12. Mm -hmm. And I heard you mention hyperbaric welding. I would love to ask, what are the disadvantages of hyperbaric welding, which is underwater welding? Uh, disadvantages? Okay, I wouldn't call oh, it... At least, like, two advantages and two disadvantages because there's not always the good side in something. Yeah, well, I wouldn't say disadvantage. It depends on what type of welder you want to be, you understand? So, welding on its own, it's dangerous. Whether you're underwater or you are, like, surface ground, it's a dangerous job on its own. So, uh, it's just that the other one is done underwater. So I would say, obviously, you have to, when you want to take the one underwater, you, don't, you can't be a person who fears water, who can't swim, or who is scared of, you understand what I mean? So it's, it's literally underwater. Oh, but you. obviously, everything that is done there, we do it safely. So you just have to be trained, and then 